Hi everyone, the channel Easy Lecture welcomes you. So in this video with an idea of uh, covering the subject of control system, I have started this series. So on that basis, this is the first class of uh, the subject control system. In this class, we are going to discuss what is meant by system, what is meant by control system and what are its types uh, like uh, open loop system, what is open loop control system, what is closed loop system. So we are going to discuss all these things with some illustrations. So before entering into the video, subscribe my channel Easy Lecture. Now we shall go for further discussion. So before discussing about control system, let us uh, let us know what is meant by a system. Okay. So when many components combine together and are, uh, are joined together to perform a particular action, then that particular then the entire setup becomes a system. Okay. And control system means the desired output of the system can be obtained by controlling the input by varying the input so if this is if this can be done in the system then the system is said to be a control system now let us talk about its types that is open loop system and closed loop system control system can be divided into open loop system and closed loop system so what is meant by open loop system open loop system means we are giving the input and we are getting the output okay from the system we are giving the input to the system and we are getting the output from the system the output can be changed by varying the input so just by varying the input so this is open loop system what is closed loop system in closed loop system it is much more complex than the open loop system the difference is from the output some portion is taken some signal is taken and it is fed back to the input and the there is a uh, there is a controller which uh, analyzes so that is an error detector so which analyzes uh, the input and uh, the feedback signal and accordingly it controls the system to get the desired output okay so this is closed loop system so the main difference between open loop system and closed loop system is the feedback there won't be any feedback in open loop system whereas in closed loop system there is a feedback now let us see which one is advantageous so here compared to open loop system closed loop system is advantageous is more advantageous although it is complex it is very advantageous let us see how so here to understand this i take an illustration of a railway gate so in olden days to close the railway gate when the train comes the god who is present there he closes the gate he comes down he and uh, the gate is present across the road and he closes the door manually so that is a that is a manual system and when the development occurred a mechanical system was developed so the god he doesn't have to come to the road to close the gate instead he can stand uh, uh, nearby his room there is a setup and he has to rotate the gear wheel and the gear wheel it closes the door closes the gate okay and uh, Whenever he gets instruction to close the gate, if he closes the gate without considering the condition in the road, like uh, whether the vehicles are very closer to the gate or they can be crossed, even if they cross, uh, uh, if, there, if that is safe, then he can allow the vehicles to cross the road. If these things are not considered and if he simply closes the road, then it is it, that kind of system is called as open loop system. Whereas if it is in a closed loop system means he analyzes the conditions of the road okay so the vehicles are very nearer and uh, if an ambulance is there and he started to close the gate rotate the gear wheel and uh, the gate is starting to close and if there are uh, certain emergencies in the road like ambulance or if any other vehicle is there and uh, even if he allows the vehicle there won't be any problem then he considers those conditions and he, if he stops rotating the gear wheel and he stop the closing of gate then the vehicles pass okay so here here certain con control is there certain control is there and certain feedback is there so feedback from the so here the output is closing the gate and the input is mechanical force given to the gear wheel so the output of the gate that is the desired thing and that thing is controlled by varying this input and here certain conditions are considered like the conditions in the road are fed back to the input so here input is the human intervention that is his brain and he analyzes he does the controlling he does the analysis and he does everything okay so here what does he do he 
takes the feedback from the output and he controls the rotation of the gear okay and in that manner he controls the closing of gate so this is closed loop system so this is the difference between open loop system and closed loop system so here con comparing this open loop system and closed loop system this closed loop system is very advantageous although he has to consider certain certain criteria prevailing in the road for closing the gate it is more advantageous okay so this is the thing so closed loop system is advantageous than open loop system but it is more complex than open loop system that we have to accept all right now certain other examples let us consider the refrigerator in refrigerator the compressor is there and if the refrigerator is operated in an open loop system manner then what happens we have to set a time for the compressor to run at a particular time and to not to run to be in off condition at a particular time so whether the chillness is there or not the compressor runs at a particular time uh, and uh, the control is switched off for the particular time programmed according to the program right but if it is a closed loop system then what happens there is a feedback from the output so feedback from the output means here the output is chillness the maintenance of chillness and a temperature sensor should be there and the temperature sensor it sends the feedback signal to the compressor switch okay there is a relay switch compressor switch it sends the feedback and uh, the chillness is there so how does it sends the feedback signal means the chillness it is um, in the form of um, a temperature and uh, uh, the sensor converts the temperature into voltage again the voltage it is a, it is a form of signal and that signal is sent back okay and on receiving that signal at the input stage the controller controls the switching of the compressor okay so what happens here there is no dependency on time whereas the system the entire system depends on the output of the system depends upon the condition that is required that is chillness if chillness is not there the compressor runs if chillness is there then the compressor is switched off so what happens a lot of electricity bill is saved okay the amount spent on eb is saved here okay so whereas in open loop system whether the refrigerator is chill or not the compressor runs in its particular period and it does not run in its particular period in a, in the in the stipulated period according to the program okay so analyzing these things we come to the conclusion that closed loop system is more advantageous than open loop system okay so while solving the problems related with the control system we will be dealing with a thing with the parameter called transfer function so a transfer function is the ratio of a laplace transform of output to the laplace transform of input with zero initial condition so this is what we call as transfer function so regarding understanding laplace transform so in a video on understanding a dsp made easy in a single video so on that topic on the topic i have uh, given introduction i have uh, discussed about lot of transforms in which the laplace transform is also there so here uh, any control system can be represented in the form of a differential equation or a derivatives and uh, we can uh, we can make the system very easier when we apply laplace transform to those derivatives and uh, when we take the transfer function when we take uh, the transfer function that is laplace transform of output and input that gives transfer function and uh, if you apply laplace transform to the differential equation and the the method by which the transfer function can be calculated is made very very easier so for this reason we go for laplace transform and uh, the differential equation or derivatives so the mathematical analysis and the problems related with the control system will be dealt in further classes and uh, in this introductory class i hope you have understood what is meant by control system and uh, what are the basic things are required to understand control system so you can uh, comment like share and don't forget to subscribe my channel easy lecture meet you again in another video until then bye thank you